someone who's going to be able to actually deal with the frontliners as well. The Trundle, as Kobe was saying, is also going to be a real tank because he's going to steal all those stats from the Sejuani. So it is a super beefy frontline here from C9. You need high DPS. The sure. Azir was the Trundle actually spotted there or not? He did try to skirt the ward. Killer is up. WE gets pretty far, but still blocked up. Burns a flash. Chain lands. They're going to get it. They need two more shots. One more auto kills as Blabber holds the aggro first blood again. All three. Make sure EG get this dragon, this counter objective. So Renekton power here is being felt. It's a meager CS lead, you know, versus the Scion. But I like this use of the teleport cooldown. Walks out just to make sure he could get it back there. Signing back uh, to purchase. I wonder if he has full Ludens. That would be so early. He got a kill. He was given first blood, so no, I think he doesn't have it. Just, okay. just uh, blasting, blasting yeah, that, there. That would be insanely if he's early. He's with first blood. I think it's possible, but oh, the pillar nearly catches him, but just away. The rest of the EG bot lane is slow for Fudge to get the rest though. Trying to kite it out. Charm on a two. Is it enough though? Is there backline access? Impact shoved around. Jojo, Jojo walks again. in. Bit more damage, but he's gonna die. Berserker kills him. Trades one for the jungler. Not the best target here. Science holds the front, and they're going for more now. Can they get away? EG kiting for their lives. Good amount of damage. Zven dangerously low, but not dead here either. Vulcan still looking for stacks here. Another couple of shots come through from Seraphine. Jensen wants more. Chain's gonna land. Impact could drop. Oh, and oh, Zven oh. and the rest of the squad is up. Berserker's on for a double. Oh. She's through. They just couldn't get the stacks to drop, but EG is back out on the map faster, so they will get the dragon. It is Berserker way ahead of the pace of the game, The though. dragon stacking in their favor, mm -hmm. and they still have this huge amount of healing and shielding for later on. It's just that, remember, the Zeri does King. sap away some of those shields. Fudge, you can see in a single combo, no ulti use, no flash use, can chop him at a half HP, and he's got Sunfire down, so it's not like it's, you know, item difference, but Sun comes in, ulti Inspired. traded. Here's a stun from Inspired, Senna helps as oh. well, and there's nothing you can do. They tried the 2v1 Renekton, but it was 2v3. Uh, we'll see which build he's gonna go for. Has theoretically good opponents of a Kraken if he wants to go for anti-frontline. Uh, we'll see which way he goes. Turret goes down to the top side, so... The Has really Really come alive is looking so good as a team. They already had one herald crash on this tower. The second one should be enough to finish that off, and it's going to be first turret down and that bastion of safety. Push mid, push top lane right now. It's okay. Fudge will back off. He's playing Scion. It's fine. Weak side Scion. Just clear out some of those minions. Rest of the team push forward. They're going to get the trade. They want more of these towers down. It does mean good things for Impact, though. You know, he's been able to keep ahead of the pace of the game here a bit. Uh, he's ultimate up. ready, but Look can he get a he round the, the big front line. Stun, they're going for Azir! From he's high. got no way out, Burns' stopwatch for a second, but will it be enough is the question. Impact wants to find his flank, out goes Jojo. Berserker doesn't get a whole lot, but it's Jensen finding a kill on the back line. Before the Drake spawns, it's 5v4. Yeah, they're gonna put a stop to that Drake second right now. Cloud9, 5v4, they reset. Berserker still has ulti, he held it for this fight, so he can still go off in this battle. I don't know if EG can do anything. Stun comes across, wanting to kill Blabber. Charm hits one, will it kill Zven? Yes, they get the stun! and Trundle as well in a four Jace versus five. EG make it a four versus three. They walk up too far. Blabber gets bursted. Now it is Evil Geniuses sustaining backup. The Seraphine. Oh my goodness. Dragon number three at only 20 minutes. Such a pivotal fight there for EG. Vulcan getting the last auto in on Trundle, I believe, to finish him off. And with no enemy jungler, they secure this. EG hanging on in this series. Yeah, Blabber and Sven both walking up there very aggressively without the by the masquerade of Seraphine supports, not respecting yep. the damage. Yeah, this is meant to be a, a, the initial sign yeah, on. I don't think EG can force it easily. He's gonna try again, Jensen. Everything is too late. He goes right back out. Fight starts maybe all the same. Fudge takes some poke, but he's still tanking the front side. That force nature doing a lot of work. On the top side, they're never gonna be near tri and just still waiting around the wings to find a play. TP comes in for the neck, then is this the fight? Does this end at all? Cloud9 could 3 out. The ulti goes wide from Sejuani. Zap's not gonna land for much. They gotta be careful though. Fudge finds his stun, goes to front line, gets through the knockup. Send ult over the top of all five. Jensen's still on the flank though. Can they find the kills? Not just yet. Does the next engage come through? Cloud9 just cannot get through the front line. Yeah. Inspired has too much support to be killed. Yeah, it's really well played there by EG, not ever fully committing to it. And because they have so much healing, the longer these fights go, the better it is for them. But they do force the TP there off of impact. So at the very least, they got that. EG though, gonna claim a tower. Look at how strong that clump is though. The immovable. What that was the play? Yeah, Void Snap, Bloody Jewel is actually really, really inefficient. You want to go all the way over once you start the item, but we've got another fight towards the Baron right now. 
It is at least a power spike. We want a thousand gold to spend at this moment. It'll be something. And ult's gonna land. But guess what? Trundle just flashes the charm in time to keep his health alive. Berserk doesn't land on a whole lot, but we got re the side. Dives in for JoJo. Pyun burns his stopwatch. No kill, but is it too much for him? Blabber gonna be attacked. Gonna die. JoJo won't just drop the heals coming in time. He will not die. They can't kill a single soul. Berserker. Vulcan flashes. Berserker tries, but it's not gonna happen. Everyone is falling. It's just just Jensen! What Danny had done just months ago it, in the Baron pit. It would have alone. to be a miracle. It would. The health bar seemed far too high. Gets a run of impact. Impact buys a ton of time. No smite doesn't matter. Baron claimed now can they Cloud9 took so much damage from this Baron. Blabber engaged that fight at 50% HP and they chased through. Too much sustain from evil geniuses as they get everybody out of the Baron pit. Man, that was so close though. Jensen had such a good angle, and we can see it again in the Rock Hat. Flip the switch, replay here. The initial engage onto Blabber here gets nailed by the Sejuani ult, barely able to flash in time to avoid the Seraphine ult, but then the kite is on here. Zeri pops the ulti early. Jojo goes in for the scoop, flashes, but not able to actually connect, and then Jensen hunting on the side here was constantly lurking around. Yeah, Jensen pokes in there, but it's too little, too late. As Berserker goes in, he almost takes the kill onto Vulcan. Blabber now under attack again. Don't have Flash to chase him down, so he won't get that one to go through. But the narrowest of margin, I think Danny had uh, the Empowered Shield come through, a giant, like, 40% missing health heal, and JoJo kept him alive. Yeah, yeah, you see that huge heal in? He already had Death Cap as well prior to that fight. So that Death Cap amp on that massive heal was really all that kept JoJo alive. Between him and that... Senna, there's so much healing in this squad, so much shielding. They're not hitting these, these massive spikes that they need. So many healers, but uh, right now it is EG. Sieging in the bottom side, good damage oh. into Vulcan. A couple of autos coming back and forth, trying to knock this turret down. We'll do reasonably well. Vulcan back up mostly to full. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the laser hit him for about 700, but one Q from the Senna is a 400 heal there. Plus, you have the healing in from Danny. Mid lane tower going down to the Renekton. Bot lane turret already cracked here. They're onto the inhibitors. I think C9 just going to be giving this one up. We'll see where they actually decide to kind of make their mark and, and try to defend. Mid lane inhibitor turret still 55 seconds. 3500 gold to the Red Bull Baron power play. Blabber looks for something. Jojo gets over the wall. Theoretically, could be interrupted with a pillar, but it might have been down. That's why he felt safe. And doesn't find any way to lock down the Azir. Level 17 on the Emperor. It's EG to the siege. 38 seconds on the buff. Jensen on a ward, still on the flank. Wants to find his angle in. He can knock down that ward. Here comes the Scion. Does a whole lot for Inspire, but he's getting back over the wall. Impact finds the kill on his van on the flank. Just dives the tower and gets one. Tower now gone as well. Inspired, not threatened. Fudge quite a bit low, and they'll knock him down, and the zombie will do its best. But Danny roots him and gets right back out. Yeah, and Impact did such a good job. He zoned Berserker out the entire fight. Berserker did not have cleanse, so he can't fight through the Renekton. and you just get stunned up. And EG now on the march here will not go down, will not get swept out of this series. They're going to potentially push us right here to a game four. Danny's 500th kill on a Seraphine, the kill leader on his team. Mage power here down 0-2 in the match. Looking to come back for a reverse sweep, looking for a banger of a series. Turret's falling, Impact. Zone in the back for now, a quick shield, but be careful, he's gonna lose Guardian Angel. Looking at some of the top side though, Trundle running for his life, gets away for now, but they could target the Nexus. Health bar's getting lower, it's gonna be a fight real quick. Is it enough for Berserker? Diving in for one, Jojo tries for the scoop, but Berserker stays alive. Vulcan shuts him down, but three dead for EG. It's gonna be just the man running away. Impact will be TP flanked, and he knows he's got nothing to do with stun to buy some time, and gonna be shut down. Bottom line ace, come Cloud9, stay alive. They stay alive. This series, my goodness. Two inhibitors down. Nexus exposed. This is insane. 11 11. Cloud9, defend the Nexus here. We can see it one more time. You know, kind of split calls here. Impact, I think, is trying to zone, but the cleanse had come back up there from Berserker. The chains landing from Jensen, who has had an amazing game by the time then. And then Berserker just dashes over the wall there, has the bailout for the additional move speed. You can see the hostile takeover connecting on multiple members, buys him even more time. And EG weren't sure, are we finishing the Nexus? Are we taking the fight? What are we doing? And Berserker is just running over him. Yeah, Vulcan goes in to finish him off, gets the shot, but he goes down in exchange and there's nowhere out for Impact. He knows, he sees the teleport on his screen. It's too late. Jensen with the shutdown on his old teammate. Morgan's coming in. 2,000 kills for Jensen. 
in a game-saving fight. Now number four all-time in the LCS. One of the best LCS players of all time and really having an incredible performance in this series. I think it has been very good how he's been playing with Blabber, especially in this game, finding so many good angles to poke and prod at EG. Uh, it's been working well for Cloud9 today. But Evil Geniuses, the spring LCS champions, not done with it yet. The base still wide open and they come back to push. 4-1 split push, Renekton in mid. They gotta go slow. Impact does not have his Unleashed Teleport, so they're just waiting for him. And when's it gonna happen? Top being left alone. Baron's up in 30, doesn't matter though. EG want to siege with no turrets. You can just walk up and at some point C9 must step to you. Otherwise the Nexus will fall. Pillar not gonna mean a whole lot. Inspire's gonna be fine. And they keep the Death Ball rolling forward. Always looking out for Berserker on the Zeri level 16. Rank 3 ulti. Root will not land for Danny, but the Pope will. Same for Vulcan. Looking now. Pillar's gonna be up there. Danny safe in the side. Charm. Sidestep flashed away, but Fudge is the target. Staying alive for now. Redemption gets the health bars back up. Berserker now fighting. Scoop gonna be flashed, but it's two for zero already. Quick stopwatch. Berserker Impact finds the stun. Impact will kill him off. And no one is left from Cloud9 to defend the Nexus. We got a series on our hands. Evil geniuses win game three. EG comes storming back into the series.